Out here in these streets, we know a thing or two about imposters, honey, a scandal. I mean, faking and taking is our game. Now, we all love a really good look-alike designer handbag, but with so many fakes and frauds lurking online, how can you tell the difference? Looks like it's a case for what, Lonnie? Designer detective. Oh! <laughs> deserve to splurge, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 So why not treat yourself to a luxe designer handbag? You know, and some of these bags retail for thousands of dollars. Girl. So if you're gonna spend your hard-earned cash, the last thing you want to find out is that the beautiful bag you're about to purchase is actually a knockoff. I know, that is terrible. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's take a look at the telltale signs that let you know whether or not your bag is real. All right, Tay, let's go, girl. Come on, child. Investigate. Okay, okay ladies. Let's take a look at the first way to spot a fake workmanship. Mm -hmm. Okay, now both of these look similar to me. They look like Louis Vuitton, or however you say it. <laughs> Louis Vuitton? Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Well, Lonnie, this is a real Louis, and this is a knockoff. Mm. The stitching on this genuine Louis Vuitton handbag is perfectly even, with no loose threads or back and forth stitching at the end of a seam. You can see on this knockoff, Louis, you see, there are loose threads Look and, like my uneven mama sold that. <laughs> and uneven stitching. This oh. is a sign of sloppy construction. Also, check out the seam on this fake Louis. Since it has such an iconic logo, they would never, ever divide the letters or logo with a seam like they did here. See? That you like see a it? Weave. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> on the real Louis, the pattern continues despite the seam. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, that's uh -huh. nice. That was a good week. Well, what if you already have a bag and you're not sure if it's fake? One trick is to take your bag into an official store to get it refurbished. They will only work on authentic bags, and they'll give you a letter saying that your bag is a fraud. Wow. Mm -hmm. That way, you have it in writing that you have a fake this bag is a beauty, so you deserve to have the real thing. Wow, thanks, yes. Tim. Okay. Yes. Come on, let's go see some more fake stuff. Okay. All right. Okay, ladies, here's the next dead giveaway for a fake bag. Materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at first glance, these Chanel bags look kind of similar. Right. But this one is a knockoff, and this one is real. So, just see what the material is like, okay? If the bag is leather, it should feel dry. Feel this one here? And if this one's a little bit more tacky. It shouldn't be oily, slippery, or kind of sticky like the knockoff. Yeah. This feel fake bag almost feels kind of tacky, right? It sticks yeah. to your fingers. Also, the hardware should be heavy. Feel this hardware, you guys compared to this, this is obviously hollow. I feel like a bike chain. Right, exactly. So this buckle is way too light here, whereas this one, you can feel that if there's more quality to it, there's a weight. This is the real Chanel. The quilted pattern is a lot smaller, the hardware is way heavier. Overall, you're getting a high quality bag with top notch materials. Wow. Yeah. Now, Jamie. Yeah. Now, what if you buying your bag online and you can't touch it before you order? You can't tell if it feels like oil sheen. Yeah. Enough. Right. Okay, good one. If you find an online store that has a bag that's way cheaper compared to other sites, mm. that's a red flag, you guys, because you pay for quality. Also, if it arrives with this loose plastic around Ooh. the handles, probably a fake. Chanel House would never do this. What some sites do is they pull a stock image and then they rip you off. So always take a photo of the actual bag you're buying. Always ask to see the actual photo. Wow. Yes. All right, well, I think we're ready for another tip. Okay. Good job, Jeannie. Let's That's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Munchkin, what's another way to spot a fake bag? All right, the styles of these two Celine bags are quite similar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just like with people, it's what's on the inside that counts, the lady. The heart. The heart of the bag. Yeah. This is the real Celine. And this is the knockoff. Now, since most of these knockoff manufacturers are building a bag off of just a photograph, mm -hmm. it's hard to tell where zippers, pockets, and seams should go. Mm -hmm. Also, the materials could be vastly different, like this fake one right here. The inside is all suede. You see that? Mm. While oh. the other one, the real one, is all leather. That's right, look well, in there. Yeah, it's leather. See that? Linings may also be a distorted color. Now, this Celine bag is off on the interior, 
but it's also a completely different color. We just bought this bag, and Celine doesn't even offer this color scheme. Wow. They, they don't even offer this on sale right now on their website. So again, this is the real Celine. It's bigger, the materials are softer, and overall, a much better quality. It is. Wow. Yep. Now, are there any other tips we need to know? All right, if you have a feeling that your bag might not be 100% genuine. Most authentic designer purses actually come with a serial number inside, yeah. you know that little card? Uh -huh. So just run that number by the manufacturer and they should be able to tell you very quickly if your bag is real or fake. Oh. Wow. Might be embarrassing, but at least you'll know. Yeah. Highly embarrassing, that's <laughs> all right. And just like that is in the bag. Now you're all designer detectives. Yes. yes.